Hi guys, it's Shauna here from Sbell Wellness. I just wanted to jump on tonight and talk to you about oils and some natural ways that we can support emotional health. So, um, you know, I think it's a really good topic um, that we really kind of need to dig into and think about and talk about these days. Um, our emotional health and our physical health are so interlinked. Um, our emotions are really triggering um, just cell activity. And when this, you know, prolonged chemical release is happening from these emotions, and we're having this prolonged emotional stress that can happen, we really are getting an imbalance at that cellular level, which then is really just leading to a lot of different health things. Um, you know, just immune system in general, right? So getting sick more frequently, um, just, you know, chronic head tension and um, GI, digestive issues, mental fatigue, not sleeping well, um, just even heart issues can really stem from, from stress in the beginning. Um, inattention, inattention can come definitely from, from stress. Um, and so, you know, I think sleep is, is definitely one of those that it probably impacts um, pretty frequently for a lot of people. And I think that that's something that we really need to, to pay attention to and to dig into because um, getting sleep is, is so important for so many things. Um, our body is really repairing so much as we sleep. And so it's definitely important to make sure that we can manage that. So we'll definitely talk about some, some oils to support that tonight. Um, so what can we do about it, right? So we can oil up. Um, you know, the oils, it's so amazing, the science behind that and, um, you know, the plants that can reach our brain in 22 seconds. That's so fast. And, it, you know, it's just coming right in through that olfactory system, through the aromatics um, and getting right to the brain. And our, our body then knows what to do with that information um, really quickly because of not having that synthetic component to try to figure out. And then by two minutes, it has reached our bloodstream because of the fact that um, the oils can cross the blood-brain barrier. Um, and then by 20 minutes, um, it's actually gotten to every cell in our body. So that's how rapid we can actually have um, a reaction and a positive one from these oils. So we think about like how to choose them when you're thinking about um, emotions. And I don't know if you guys have the um, Essential Life book or um, this little brochure actually is on the emotional aroma therapy um, that you can get on the doTERRA website. And um, it has this really cool wheel in there. Um, and it actually talks about the different um, types of plants. And so you have like the florals. So florals are really good for calming our fears or when we're worried or hurt. Um, we have our mints and our mints are good, um, you know, when we're having those like insecure feelings or anxious. We have our citrus, um, which is good for like feeling discouraged or gloomy or um, distressed. And then our spices. And so those um, really kind of help when we are disinterested or bored, um, not really excited about what's going on. And then we have our herbs and our grasses, and those are great for like anger feelings, um, bitterness, just really kind of discontented. And then we have our tree oils, which are um, supportive for um, grief and sadness, um, you know, just feelings of being ashamed of what um, might be going on in our life. And so those are um, a really good way to kind of start and think. And of course, I'm going to talk about some blends that will kind of overlap through those. But if you um, are trying to pick from some oils that you might already have, then really kind of thinking about the type of plant helps you really kind of dig into that. So um, there's information in the Essential Life books about this. Um, and like I said, this little, little booklet is available for the Emotional Aromatherapy um, kit with doTERRA as well. And so um, let's talk about the emotional um, aromatherapy oils. And so um, in that kit um, is Cheer, which I know um, is one of the oils that lots of people have enjoyed. Um, it was on BOGO not too long ago, and so I know people were able to snag that and enjoy that. So that's our uplifting blend. And the aroma of that one is, is really kind of sunshiny. It's got citrus and spice. Um, it really helps to promote um, the happy cheerfulness 
And then um, it really helps to counteract those feelings of just feeling down. I know that, um, you know, cheer has been helpful through the winter time when it's, you know, you need something to like keep you going and kind of getting past that feeling, the winter blues. And so um, it's, it's definitely an uplifting one. Console. So console is um, a comforting blend. And so um, the aroma of console is um, floral and then tree together. Um, it's, it's really helpful to comfort um, and kind of give some of those feelings um, of hope and then counteract those feelings of grief and sadness um, and hopelessness. Just to give you an idea of some of the oils in there, um, we have frankincense and patchouli and uh, ylang ylang, um, amorous bark, which is um, similar to a sandalwood and rose and osmanthus. And so just, you know, a lot of tree and, and florals there that are really helping to, to comfort when having feelings of, of sadness. Um, let's see, forgive is another one in the um, aromatherapy line. And so um, forgive is our renewing blend. And this one is a, um, has the aromatics of trees and herbs together. Um, and it's really intended to promote patience. And so obviously that would be then counteracting um, feelings of anger um, or guilt or impatience. And so um, this one has spruce and juniper berry and lemon and myrrh and arbor vitae. Um, there's a nuka tree and thyme um, as well as some citronella. So um, again, just those trees and herbs together are really supporting um, for patients. And then we have Motivate. So Motivate is our encouraging blend. I had mentioned about Bogo. I think this was part of that um, with the cheer um, when we had that not too long ago. This is um, our encouraging blend. And so uh, Motivate has that combination of mint and citrus. It's really supportive for feelings of confidence. Um, really great for just that afternoon boost of really keeping you going and emotionally um, feeling ready for what you need to to get done. It really helps to counteract um, like feelings of doubt, not sure what's going on um, for yourself. Um, you know, it's great for, for kiddos who might be kind of thinking that um, they're struggling with some things and not, um, you know, not good at it. It really helps to boost that confidence. Um, and like I mentioned, it has mints and citrus in there. It's got some peppermint and coriander, basil's in there, rosemary and vanilla. Um, Melissa and Clementine. So a really nice mix to, to really give that um, uplifting aromatic in the Motivate. And then we have Passion. Passion is probably actually one of my favorite um, of the aromatherapy line. Um, it's the inspiring blend. It does have um, kind of a spice and herb um, aromatic to it. Um, it really helps to promote excitement and passion, just really um, joy for, for what we are engaging in um, and helps to counteract boredom and, and disinterest. And so um, I really, really enjoy this one myself. And so in there it has cardamom and cinnamon, clove and sandalwood, jasmine and vanilla. Um, so if you haven't tried that one, I definitely um, recommend checking out Passion. And then in that aromatherapy line is Peace. So um, Peace is a reassuring blend. It has the aromatic of floral and mints together, really um, is promoting feelings of reassurance um, to help counteract feelings of anxious, anxiousness, um, being fearful. And with those florals and mints, you're gonna find um, vetiver, uh, lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, um, and spearmint. And so, um, again, just um, really helpful for giving those reassuring feelings. Um, I didn't mention, as I started talking about it, I started showing a couple different bottles. And so um, that aromatherapy line does come in a kit of the ones that I just talked about um, in the oil that you can, you know, diffuse. You can make your own roller bottles, that sort of thing. Um, and then it also comes in those, those touch rollers. Um, as well. And then, of course, they're all um, available individually um, to build up your collection of those 
um, also. So that was the um, aromatherapy kind of emotional oils that doTERRA has together, are blended together to support emotions. There are a couple other ones that I wanted to mention that I think are super powerful and, and good to have around. Um, of course, you guys know if you've been listening in for a while that I, um, I can't not talk about balance. And so um, balance is our, our grounding blend. Um, it really promotes feelings of settling. Um, when I talked about sleep, I, I find it to be very helpful to really help me just kind of um, settle to the day, let things go, um, let my mind kind of um, not be thinking so quickly about things. Um, and then it's also really good actually to counteract um, feelings of anger, sadness, anxiousness, um, mood swings, um, any traumatic events that might have happened um, to yourself or others. And so um, it can also be used, it's not just going to, you know, put you to sleep. So it can also be used throughout the day too, if those are things that um, you are experiencing or um, others that you know to really help with that settling. And of course it can be um, used in um, the diffuser as well. And then elevation. Elevation is another one of my favorite blends. Um, it's our joyful blend. It's um, very uplifting. It really helps to boost mood um, and really counteract, you know, the stressful feelings, anxiousness, um, even sadness. It has lavender in there, um, amorous, clary sage, Hawaiian sandalwood, ylang ylang, ho wood, and osmanthus. So we're getting a lot of florals and um, woods together. There's a little bit of citrus in here as well with uh, tangerine. Um, and so it, it reminds me of like a, I don't know, like a sweet flower um, with a, a little bit of citrus. I really um, like that, that aromatic. And then serenity, of course, um, is a really great blend to talk about when we're talking about emotional health. It is the restful blend. Um, it really is helpful for sleep. Um, you know, this is the one that we have in our diffuser every night um, along with Breathe. Um, but this one really um, has a combination of, of florals and woods as well. Um, there's lavender and cedarwood and whole wood, ylang ylang, um, marjoram's in there, Roman chamomile, vetiver. You know, vetiver is in a few of these that I've talked about. Vetiver is um, a really great oil for brain health. And so, um, of course, as we're talking about emotionals, that's definitely something that we want to tap into on um, those oils that are really going to support our brain health. And then the last oil that I wanted to talk about is Copaiba. Um, so Copaiba is an amazing oil. Um, I take Copaiba uh, internally, actually, um, two drops in a um, veggie capsule, or you can also get um, the Copaiba soft gels now that already have um, the oil in there. And so um, as far as talking about its benefits for emotional health, you guys, this oil is so powerful for supporting anxious feelings. Um, you know, I have several people that I've talked to who have really been able to manage so much of their emotional health, um, having Copaiba in routine. Um, you know, even people who have really experienced um, some serious um, anxiousness that has really resulted in panic attacks and those kind of things um, that having Copaiba has made just life-changing a difference for them. So definitely one that, that I promote. Um, I notice that when I take it internally um, and then maybe skip a few days or forget about it um, for a few days, I, I do notice a difference um, in just kind of keeping that even ground and being able to um, maintain focus and maintain kind of emotional balance as I go through the day. Um, and it's also very helpful for promoting relaxing sleep as well. Um, and so that could be added into bedtime routine also. Um, and that, that's an oil that could be used with, with the kiddos too. So definitely something that it's worth looking into. Um, so those are the oils that I wanted to share for emotional health. I know that was, you know, kind of a lot of information with those. Um, you can check all of those out on um, the doTERRA website. Um, you can look at the product information page. You can see all of um, what's in the oils and kind of see what you're looking for. 
Um, and then, you know, using that, that wheel that I talked about at the beginning, that's super helpful to be able to kind of think about the properties of, you know, whether it's floral or mint or citrus, um, woods and that sort of thing to kind of help you pick out um, what you might need for what specific emotions are going on. Um, I want to mention too that, you know, for emotional health, just overall wellness, um, those lifelong vitality vitamins that I have kind of been talking about this month. And um, there's a whole video that, um, you know, class that I did on those. If you haven't been able to check that out, I definitely recommend it. Um, those are definitely, definitely helpful for emotional support, just really overall making sure that our body has the, the right nutrients and vitamins that we need to be able to really have that cellular level support. Um, those omegas are super, super important for brain health, um, which you're going to get in the um, XC omegas. And then antioxidants, which are really making sure that we're able to, you know, keep in what we need and then get rid of some of those toxins that are happening. And so um, definitely check out those if you haven't already. And definitely um, let me know if there's anything that you're kind of questioning or you want to compare it to something that you've already been taking. Um, I'd be happy to, to help you with that. And so you guys know that I also, um, you know, have done training in mindfulness and yoga and those kind of things. So I couldn't leave um, a topic of emotional support without kind of touching base on that a little bit too. So I um, just want to share some ideas and some things that um, could be helpful and encourage you to do for yourself, um, as well as for children or anyone else in your life that you know or are kind of dealing with that emotional um, roller coaster that we can be on sometimes. And so I think that there's some really great things to help with that. So I just wanted to mention a little bit of that. And so making sure that we are taking just pause moments, you know, just times to get out of our head and just kind of notice what's happening in our body. Um, you know, it's a really great practice is just to be able to kind of sit there with your feet planted on the ground and, um, you know, maybe closing your eyes and just thinking for a moment, like scanning your body, trying to tap in and notice where in your body um, you might feel tension. Um, you might realize that you didn't even realize that you were feeling that tension um, until you start to tune into it. And then um, once you notice that, if you can get into practice of actually um, taking some deep breaths and imagining that you're sending that, that breath to those muscles to release that tension, you'll be super surprised at um, the impact of your breath in being able to do that. And so we can just physically, um, you know, turn a switch um, and really help support our body by just taking those moments to get out of our head and kind of scan through our body and see what's going on. Um, something else that I have found helpful, because we always get so busy and we're like, oh my gosh, I, I wanted to do this mindfulness thing. And, you know, I just had all these things going on today and I, I didn't do it. Um, and so something that I have found super helpful is to actually put alerts in my phone. And so I put them in at times that I know that my phone um, will be present. So like different transitions in my day that I know that I'm going to be grabbing my phone to, to go do something. Um, I put little alerts in there so that they're going to send off a message to me, um, whether it be like just positive affirmations or just simply telling me to breathe on purpose. Um, I have found that to be super helpful to at least be able to, to make sure that I'm being um, alerted to that. I don't know if you guys can hear this. It's, it's storming out there. <laughs> um, so anyway, I think that you know, being able to, to set ourselves up for that is definitely helpful. Um, and then, of course, things like yoga, um, just, you know, if yoga is not your thing and, you know, some other exercises, that's great too. Just any sort of movement that we can get in, um, again, getting ourselves out of our head, just really kind of tuning into the body is super helpful for our emotional health. Um, if journaling is your thing, I definitely think that that's helpful um, just to be able to jot down some thoughts. Um, jot down some things that you want to see happening in your life. Um, I always encourage like write them down as if they they are happening and if um, you know they are going to happen. And so that that's really powerful for our our brain and our our health um, of our emotions. So anyway, I hope that that is just a little tidbit of 
extra in our oil education, but something that I have found to be super powerful for me personally, um, for the students I work with, um, and just some other people in my life. And so I wanted to share that with you guys tonight too. Um, if you guys have any questions, please make sure that you're reaching out to me. You can hop on spellwellness.com and get my contact information, email, call, text anytime so that I can help you in your journey um, with wellness. And I thank you so much for joining in and watching this class. Um, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. And I hope that you stay well. We'll see you next time.